There we are. So, before I officially start the stream, I just want to say I turned up my audio bitrate in OBS Studio a lot. So, I think that fixed all of those random bitrate notifications that I've been getting on my end. So, everything should sound the same. I just did a lot of behind-the-scenes work to make sure YouTube Studio is functioning properly. I also turned up my mic just a little bit, so that way it could be more properly balanced with my game audio. That being said, what's up everybody? My name is Tentacle, and welcome back to more Splatoon 3. If you missed last night's stream, don't worry about it. It ended really poorly, and I got way too heated at the game, and I really do apologize, because that's no way for me to act. But I've slept, I've taken a shower, and I've had lunch and breakfast since then, and I'm feeling refreshed, reinvigorated, and ready to play Springfest with you guys for Team Bear Cubs. That's how this works. You're only going to be able to join me if you're on Team Bear Cubs. And I already posted the pool code in the chat, but if you guys need it, I will show it on screen right now. There it is. So the way this works is I'll be doing two games per group and... To make things flow a little better, I'll let viewers join every other lobby. But if at any point we get to where there are a lot of new viewers, I will go back to having viewers only join one lobby. It really just depends on what happens, you know? Also, also... You might notice that gif of shiny Victory Bell in the bottom left corner across from my PNG tuber. In eight minutes, there is going to be a Pokemon Go Community Day event for Bellsprout. I'm going to be hunting for shiny Bellsprout in between battles to see if I can evolve it into shiny Victory Bell while I'm still live. It also depends on how many people joined Team Bear Cubs. That is true. Based on the sneak peek results, it seems like things are relatively even. Kind of like the last Splatfest. You guys remember how close that was, right? At least, at the start. Also, what's up, Ash? How you doing? But okay, let's get this started. If you guys need my stream pool code, here it is. Two games per group and join every other lobby. That's how this is going to work. I figured I might as well start the games now before Bellsprout Community Day starts. Halftime basically decides if Splatfest is close or not. What's up, Slayro? How you doing? That's not always the case, but it's been very common, which makes me sad. I really don't like how one-sided most of these Splatfests have been. But yes, if you guys are on Team Bear Cubs, feel free to join me and we will get this started. You're on Team Little Bunnies and you want to create a room for other people that are on that team? Go ahead then, Bob. Just make sure if you do choose to do that, 
let other viewers that are on Team Little Bunnies know. Otherwise, I'll get confused and think you're addressing me. Because I don't join viewer rooms. And I'm doing well, Slayro. Glad you are as well. If no one joins for a while, I might drop into solo queue to give other viewers a chance to join. I'll wait a little longer. I can play the shell-out machine while I'm here. Okay, I thought I couldn't. Also, what's up, Taylor? How you doing? You didn't really miss much, Taylor. We just got started. I'll send out one more notification, and if no one else joins, I'll just start with Ash. This can be our warm-up lobby. Ooh, I hope you're having fun there, Taylor. If you guys were there for last night's stream, I said I wanted to play the Nautilus 79 today. But every time I played it last night, before I went to sleep, I lost horribly. My best performances were with... The Neo Splashomatic, the 96 Gal Deco, and the Paintbrush Nouveau. So I'll probably be playing any of those three weapons. And this could make me have good progress on my Silver Triple Ink Strike or Silver Kraken badge. I might as well get something, too. I need a lot more... A lot more cash. That would be nice. Let's get this going. We'll do two games and... See what happens from there. Oh, someone joined. Is Dark's not a friend of yours, Ash? Oh, never mind. Uh, so much for that. I swear that was intentional or unintentional, excuse me. I'm sure people will join in due time, Bob. Remember, you can hold Y to send out notifications to your friends list. Not sure if you're doing that already. This is your alt account? Fair enough. I've heard of people making multiple accounts to play Splatfests. Perhaps this Dark's Knot is someone on my friends list, then I don't know. Or maybe they're in my stream pool and are lurking. Either way, welcome! It's almost 2 p.m., so... I think what I'm gonna do is, while this is loading, I'll load up Pokemon Go and drop an incense. Incense lasts three hours during community day events, so that'll give me a lot of Bellsprout. Hopefully shiny Bellsprout, too.
If that does happen, Bob, then good luck out there. Maybe you'll run into me and the other viewers. Let's do this. I shall continue my Bellsprout hunt after this battle. Then good luck out there, Bob. There's a really good Salmon Run rotation active right now. The best way to counter a Zip Caster, even though they ran out of their caster. Oops. Remember, by the way, this is turf, not ranked. You gotta, you gotta ink your base. Also, what's up, Bread? How you doing? Nice trade. Let me see if I can save you. Well, I got someone. Don't care whom. Oh, no. Wow, these people are actually putting up quite a fight. By the way, Bread, if you're on Team Bear Cubs, you're more than welcome to join me after this lobby's over. We got one more battle after this. Thank you for the help there, Ash. Your assistance is appreciated. Oh, that roller's got the right idea. Uh, goodbye, brush. Also, what's up, Tuesday? How you doing? We're kind of getting our butts kicked here. Kamikaze suction bomb. Didn't work. When this battle's over, I will begin my hunt for Shiny Bell Sprout slash Victory Bell. Dang it, I thought that would get someone. I think this is a wash. They just have much better turfing capabilities than we do. Maybe I should play the Wiper Deco at some point. That would be fun. Getting a lot of points doesn't mean anything in a situation like this. Also, what's up, Gremlin and Dylan? How you doing? Uh, GG's anyway, I guess. We got one more battle, so don't despair. In the meantime, let's see what these Bellsprout are looking like in Pokemon Go. That's still a surprising amount of clout, considering it was only based on the turf that I inked. Let's try that again. I also love how this roller player's username is Ink182. And I guess Dark's not left. Nothing yet, but this event just started, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining too much. Still got three more hours, or two more hours, excuse me. And I'm a little close to the mic, sorry.
It's going to be so tough flopping between Splatfest mode and Pokemon Go mode. But I think I can do it. I've done it before with Big Run. This is only the second time I've played Pokemon Go during a live stream. The first was in the Umami Ruins Big Run. There was a Charmander community day at that time. Nice ink back throw, even though that missed. I didn't even know the vac could go that far. There we go. Get a little bit of our base covered. I'll get that later. For now, though, we gotta focus on reclaiming our turf. I wonder. What was that? Did I randomly hit the stamper there? You do know I can just do this, right? Either my main weapon or the suction bomb was gonna get you, stamper player. You could not have won that, I think. Oh, look at that. They won that. Why am I not surprised at this point? Also, what's up, Koi? How are you doing? See? I remembered. Excuse me? Who said you could be here? All right. I don't know why I'm choosing to do this. It's clear that I should just avoid the confrontation and go turf something else. But I'm headstrong. Don't care if I got hit by the mine. That E-Leader is not running Respawn Punisher. I thought they were. And Go Go Gadget Suction Bomb. The Grizzco Duelies were your random weapon during Salmon Run. They are really fun. For the next big run, I really hope we get a new Grizzco weapon. That would be nice, but it really all just depends on what happens. GG's. I'll break this room, and Ash, you're gonna need to sit out from the next room. Meanwhile, Koi, Gremlin, Dylan, Bread, and KK, who just do just joined, any of you are more than welcome to join this next room. Remember, you can only join me if you're on Team Bear Cubs. I know Koi said they already are. I'll stick with the ne with the Neo Splash for now. Now let's see what the Bell Sprout spawns are like. Shiny Bell Sprout is really cool. It's a subtle change, but the yellow leaves on it look great. You're not on Team Bear Cubs, Gremlin? Understandable. Just figured I'd extend the offer, as it were.
Hmm. I'm gonna try something else. Oh, you need the pool code? Here it is. There you go. I'm pretty sure I spelled that right. Yes, I did. Okay. I thought I didn't for some reason. True, I could, but I have a pinned message already, Bob. If you guys didn't hear the news, I'm currently taking submissions for Splatoon 3 lockers to rate them on a scale of 1 to 5 in a video next month. Just fill out that Google form in the pinned comment. If you're still here, Ash, you're more than welcome to join back in. Otherwise, if anyone else hasn't joined, you gotta find my room in this menu after I send out the notification. We could do a meme team. We could. Come on, game. There we go. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I made sure to rest my mind after last night's stream, and that helped a lot. Feels good to be refreshed again, as it were. You're able to join me if you're on Team Bear Cubs for this Splatfest. Just make sure to enter my stream pool code. You have to do it in this envelope menu, and then whenever I send in a notification like this, look in the same envelope menu. I just sent the notification, so you should be able to see my room now if you're on Team Bear Cubs. Oh, are you Switch Star? If that's the case, then Ash and Switch Star play a triple ink strike weapon. We're doing a meme team. Triple ink strike meme team. There we go. Maybe that'll boost our chances of finding a multiplier battle. I kid, of course. That doesn't do anything to your multiplier battle chances.
Yeah, I heard about that, Bob. I don't know if I'm looking forward to that, if I'm being real. Last time I played Tricolor on Mahi Mahi Resort, it was a nightmare. But we'll see what happens this time. I will not be live tomorrow, by the way. After this stream is over, I won't be going live again until Monday. Probably Monday night. I don't know what I'll be playing then, but I'll figure something out. Gotcha! Don't worry, I avenged you. Oh, I almost got him. Thanks for the assist. Dang it, I keep forgetting the splash o matic isn't a three shot splat weapon, it's a four shot. I might swap to the Tenatech Splatter Shot after this battle. It'll still be a part of the meme team, at least. How dare you guys hurt my friends! Wow, okay. That's actually a dirty strategy, but I like it. Using Carbon Roller with Fizz Bangs is actually a fantastic combo. Because of how fast it is. You can throw a Fizz Bang and then immediately use your main weapon. Alright, see you later, Gremlin. Thanks for stopping by for a bit. Engage. Oh, something's going on over here. Sometimes even the smartest moments in Splatfest are the ones where you have to disengage from a fight. And not throw your fizz bangs completely randomly. Neither of us are going to survive that, apparently. Mm, excuse me. I didn't know which one I was going to get splatted by, but I guess it was the carbon roller. Uh, Go-Go Gadget Suction Bomb. Probably could have done the same with my three fizz bangs. But hey, I think we won. Yeah, we did. By 3% too. GG's. I freaking love this victory music. It's so silly. I have no idea why they decided to go that hard for the victory music, but I'm digging it. It's so good. Ooh, look at that clout. That's good for just a regular battle. Not even a multiplier. Also, what's up, Nostalgia King? How you doing? You kind of prefer Splatfest ink just being normal instead of glowing? Yeah, I can see that. It kind of hurts people's eyes, from what I've heard. Especially this Springfest combination. The baby chicks and little bunnies combination is apparently really painful on the eyes if you're not careful. That is certainly a combination. 
I'll get back to this later. Yeah, it does have confetti on it. Oh, I don't... I don't hate the ink colors. They're fantastic. I'm just saying, be careful because it could be potentially harmful on the eyes. Especially depending on the map. For example, this color combo on Flounder Heights is fine. Because the map itself doesn't have very much other lighting. Crab Leg Capital, Mahi Mahi, and Marlin Airport are probably some examples of maps that have already bright lights. So it would probably be harder to see there. It's only a matter of time before Marlin Airport gets hit with the Curse of Tricolor, by the way. Most of the time, whenever a new tricolor stage gets released, the community hates it, and I'm no exception. A good majority of the tricolor stages I've seen have been awful. Try to back up, I dare ya. And you couldn't even come forward either. Let's see. It's currently 2.20. I think I might end the stream a little after 4 p.m. So the stream's gonna last for about two hours. Just a little more than that, at least. That should be enough time to play Springfest and still have enough time to hunt for Shiny Bell Sprout afterwards. What's my opinion on the tricolor Manta Maria map? You want to know something, Koi? That is probably my second favorite tricolor map I've ever played on. I know, shocking. My favorite is probably Eel Tail. Because it was actually bearable. Oh, right! Sage brings up a good point there. Color lock mode is an option. I might do that if... If there gets to a point where... The color combos end up being too bright for the map. Ah, we fought hard. Oh, well. GG's. What about Sturgeon Shipyard? Hate it. Sorry. Oh! Ah, how could I forget the Legend of Zelda Scorch Gorge? I'm so sorry. That one's my favorite. The Eel Tail Alley tricolor map is probably my third favorite in the game. What was I thinking? How could I forget the freaking... Scorch Gorge Tricolor. By the way, how you doing, Sage? I'll say rejoining is allowed for now. But if we get to a point where... Where a lot of other people want to play, then please let them in. I mean, if you're able to join again at Switch Star, then maybe. I don't think I ever played on Brinewater Tricolor because... Because of how bad I thought it would be. Switch Star requested all gold arrow spray, so let's give that a try. For this first round.
while this loads up, I'm gonna continue catching Bellsprout until I get a shiny one. It's just normal Brinewater Springs, but with bigger sides. Is that really all it is, Tuesday? That's awful. I hate that. Oh, not in here, Nostalgia King. You can't see it, but I'm playing Pokemon Go while I wait for my rooms to load. There's a Bellsprout Community Day event going on right now. The chances of getting shiny Bellsprout are incredibly boosted. And the spawns themselves are too. Haven't found one yet, but I've still got plenty of time. And I will make sure to play this after stream, after I raid someone. And that's incredibly valid, Sage. We got one more spot open if anyone else on Team Bear Cubs wants to join or rejoin. And if you do join, remember, we're playing all gold arrow spray. For the next round, though, you guys can pick whatever you want. I just think this would be funny. Ooh, that's good to hear, Bob. Okay, ready up, everybody. Let's just go ahead and start. It doesn't seem like anyone else wants to join this lobby, which is fine. Rats. Maybe so, Nostalgia King, but they're great for collecting. Why do you think I did that so much when I was still playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I do want to go back to Scarlet and Violet eventually to hunt for Shiny Fue Coco. And am I crazy, or did we just match up with someone who's already somehow playing the gold arrow spray? Because if so, then that's amazing. I'm sorry, Bob, but... After this lobby, I think I'm going to go back to doing normal rounds again. And there is no such thing as using a weapon to cheat in Splatoon. It may be a good weapon, but that doesn't mean it's unfair. Every weapon has their weaknesses. The arrow sprays are extremely inaccurate and take five shots to splat. Oh, 
Oh, and that's another good question. I'm gonna be breeding for it. That's the only way to get shiny starter Pokemon in the modern Pokemon games. Whoa! Surprise carbon attack. That was certainly something. Aw, oh, man. Really thought I would get ya. Yeah, Aerospray's main focus should be turfing. It is not a weapon that has a high damage output. It's a worthy trade. You'll be lucky if you get to uh, KO someone with an arrow spray and survive. Just make sure to do so when the enemy least, least expects it. Really thought I would get someone. Oops. Wow, I survived that Booyah Bomb. Even though it was an at-what-cost kind of thing. Also, what's up, Mr. Cheese? How you doing? I think we lost that right at the end. This is why I don't, or excuse me, this is why meme teams are dangerous because of situations like this. Yep, we lost it right at the end. Oh well. For this next round, just pick whatever you guys want. I'm gonna go back to the Neo Splash. That was fun, though. It was worth a try. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm not taking weapon requests. Oh, did Switch Star have to leave? I guess so. Remember, it's two games per lobby, not one. So far, you've only had one match against Bear Cubs and no mirror matches. On the inverse side, Sage, I haven't fought baby chicks one time. I'm just glad this wasn't as broken as the days of the weekend, Splatfest, or Splatoween. Yeah, Nostalgia King brings up a good point. I specifically did not join Team Saturday because I knew of how many mirror matches that would happen. Get out of here, you stupid sploosh. It's not a stupid weapon, by the way. It's good. I was just getting in the moment. Wow, I actually traded with the pro. Oh, that's interesting, Sage. I did not know that. I mean, on a similar note, when I was on Team Fist Bump in November of last year, that was the first time I was on Fry's team since Team Sweet. 
Or wait. Hang on. Did the Pokemon Splatfest occur before or after the Spicy Sweet Sour Splatfest? Because that's kind of pertinent to the statement I was making. Does anyone remember? Because I don't. The Pokemon Splatfest occurred before. Alright, so then my statement is still correct. Being on Team Fist Bump was the first time since the Spicy Sweet Sour Splatfest I was on Fry's team. I think that's probably the largest gap between the same deep cut character for me. Come on, please! Ah, oh, come on! I almost lived through that. That would have been sick. You guys saw how close that was, right? Holy moly. We're still gonna win, but man. Imagine if I had lived through that. I'm so glad I traded. You guys are right. That was game number two of this lobby, so I'll break it and make a new one. Smoked them! Dang, all silver medals. Let's hope our other two teammates get a fist bump. Nope, okay. I could always use more ink resistance chunks. Thank you, game. I gotta wonder how close I am to the silver triple ink strike badge. Probably not very close. I don't play triple ink strike weapons all that much. Let's go to Hotlantis before I make my next room. That'll give me a little more time to look for shiny bell sprout. Hmm, excuse me. Scorch Gorge Impractical Theory? What's that supposed to mean, game? I don't think I have, Nostalgia King. Let me look. I don't even have one star on the dang thing! Excuse me, how do I not? Okay. We're playing the Neo Sploosh next. It's got such a low special gauge. How have I not at least one starred this? Also, welcome back, Koi. You arrived just in time for the next room. While this is going on, I'm going to see if I can do something in Pokemon Go real quick. There we go. Oh, that too. I haven't three-starred the Neo Splash either. Oops, I did not mean to ready up so soon. If you guys need the pool code, here it is. All right, got a full squad. And I didn't know JD was on Team Bear Cubs. Ready when you guys are, by the way. I got one! Guys, I just got a shiny bell sprout! 
Time to see if it's any good. Score one for the imaginary counter. But yay! I'm glad at least that part of the stream isn't a total waste. Okay, wow! This bell sprout is really good. Okay, it's getting evolved right away. I did not expect that. Also, what's up, JD? How you doing? I don't think that's gonna happen, Koi. Maybe we'll do another meme team round for the next one. Just pick whatever for this one. The effort was there, though. Dang, Shiny Victory Bell looks awesome in Pokemon Go. You recently got four stars on the Sorella Brella? Nice. I got four stars on the N Perry Duelies recently, but the battle in which I got it ended with a communication error on the victory screen. That was my charger, by the way. I can't believe that happened. I'm pretty sure that's the first time that's happened to me in Splatoon 3 and the first time that's happened where I've gotten a badge at the same time. At least the game is nice enough to give you your badge. And I see someone got a cooler. Nice killer whale. I'll clean up this part of the base. You guys go on ahead. It's best to use Killer Whale 5.1 from a distance anyway. I guess in a situation like this, the fizz bangs can be used to smoke out enemies and then go in to splat them. Also, what's up, Nikki? How you doing? I just caught a shiny bell sprout in Pokemon Go right before this battle. There's a bell sprout community day active right now. Are you on Team Baby Chicks, Nikki? If so, then good luck. I'm on Team Bear Cubs, and we have not fought Baby Chicks a single time. No, you don't, game. There we go. Let me see if I can charge up another whale and then let her rip. Yeah, you guys get that sprinkler. I'll go back and see if I can do something about the enemies. Too late there, Duelies. The effort is appreciated, and that is a sick triple right there. Holy moly. Uh, watch out, guys. That was way too close. Talk about some good teamwork. Let's... Excuse me. Who said you could do that, enemy team? Don't tell me we're... Yep, we're about to lose right at the very end. Come on, man. Not now. Unbelievable. I guess I gotta embrace the true nature of the Neo Sploosh and be annoying to the enemies. Also, what's up, Broom? How you doing? 
You're also on Team Bear Cubs? Good to hear. That's what team I'm on. I'm gonna continue playing the Neo Sploosh, but you guys can do whatever. Killer Whale meme team, Sploosh meme team, I don't care. I need to test something with this. So that's how much the damage stacks up. I did not know that. Oh, are you unable to join for now? That's understandable, Broom. Your watching the stream is still very much appreciated. Ooh, all right, JD. Good luck with that. I also love how the Flingza player's username is Ocean Man. Makes me think of that one song from the Spongebob movie. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, your Switch Online ran out. Okay, that makes more sense. I hope you can get it back soon. That's no fun. Running out of your Switch Online right before an in-game event like this. I'll take that cooler, please. Thank you. What was that mini player trying to do? That's no way to dodge the killer whale. I guess they were too concentrated on taking out you guys. It means my strategy worked. Now it's time to be annoying to the enemies, like I said I would. Man, imagine if that first fizzy bomb KO'd. That would have been sweet. At least let me have my cooler before I get splatted. Oh, you just changed your profile picture, Bob. I just now noticed that. Looks cool. See if you can dodge the killer whale this time, mini splatling. You did, and the flings a roller got me. Okay. Also, what's up, Mr. Cheese? How you doing? This is the second game of this lobby, so you're more than welcome to join next time. Who said you could do that? I tell you, there are weapons that I really dislike fighting, and there are weapons that I really dislike playing, but I don't think any one weapon in Splatoon 3 is inherently broken, you know? That's just unreasonable. It's like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I've heard this one joke before. No specific fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is broken because the internet can't make up its mind. The same can, I guess, inherently be said for Splatoon 3 and the main weapons in the game. Man. This is not going well. All right then, Koi. See you later. This was supposed to be your first Splatfest? Oh, I'm so sorry, Broom. Oh. 
Oh, I'm... Did I say that already, Mr. Cheese? Curse of the streamer brain. Boy, I tell ya. It's all too real. Let's make a new room and go from there. You'll get in it next time? True. There's Mr. Cheese. You guys can pick whatever weapons you want. I'm just gonna stick with the Neo Sploosh until I one-star it. It's gonna be a long journey, but I think I can do it. Wow, according to Pokemon Go, this shiny victory bell that I just got is my tiniest one. Didn't even think that would be possible, but here we are. Also, what's up, Trex? How you doing? I'm already feeling much better since last night, and I even caught a shiny bell sprout in Pokemon Go a few minutes ago. It's already a victory bell. I might need to teach it something else instead of Leaf Tornado. That's not a very good move. Maybe acid spray. And I did not get any multiplier battles yet, Trex. But I'm not worried. We've still got about an hour of the stream left. Oh, come on, man! There's jinxing, and then there's whatever the frick that was. I really spoke too soon, huh? And look at that team. Oh, boy. What happened? I guess the pressure of the 10x battle got to you. I know the feeling. I always like to stand still whenever using the killer whale from a safe distance. It helps me aim better. That's called manifesting true. Let's see if we can manifest destiny and win this. A little bit of an American history joke for all of you non-American viewers. Whoa, nice job on destroying that Octobrush. Whomever that was that got him. I didn't even see that player. Or that player, oops. How did that Splat Bomb not get him? They should not be in our base. Nice teamwork. See if you can dodge this. The one weakness of the heavy edit splatling, it takes forever and a day to charge, like the Hydra. The good thing is, though, its damage output is so good, the low charge speed it doesn't really matter now, does it? Now, I need to check something whenever this round is over. 
I was at 3,000 freshness points on the Neo Sploosh before this battle started. If we win this, I want to check my freshness points again. Got someone. Let's go. This is a good combo that we have. Let's keep this going for the second battle. And don't worry, JD. You'll be able to join up again after this lobby's over. Uh, I think so, Broom. I normally play the heavy Splatling and the heavy edit Splatling. I'm just playing the Neo Sploosh right now because I haven't gotten one star freshness on this yet. But yeah, I'd say defensive slash backline is my main playstyle nowadays. We smoked them! Let's freaking go, baby! Definitely getting a picture of this so I can post it on Twitter later. Lovely. I guess I could see here if... If my freshness points are much higher. 18,000 clout. Just casually. Alright. Get a festival shell. And man, multiplier battles don't make a difference for freshness points. It was worth it to check at least. We might need to wait a little bit for the next lobby considering the rotation is about to change. Ooh, Ash is swapping to the Range Blaster. Okay. The Special Gauge got nerfed. So I hope you have a good strategy in place. I'm terrible with the Range Blaster. Okay, let's go. Only two of those lasers locked on. Oh well. Even if I don't get any other shiny bell sprout while I'm live, I'm glad I got one and it turned out really good. I'm definitely going to be able to use that in the future. And they didn't even get their cooler. Womp womp. Got someone. The sloshing machine Neo and the custom explosher are probably the two most dangerous weapons on the enemy team. Considering the fizz bangs. A worthy trade. I salute you. Oh, by the way, now that we've got a few more viewers, does my mic sound really crackly or anything? Is the audio quality good on my mic? I turned up my microphone's audio since last time because I noticed it was a little quiet a few streams ago. Watch out. I need to find a way to drop QR onto this. All right. Now what are we going to do? Come on. Oh, dang it. They activated their reef slider. 
At least you guys got him, but the Fizzbangs could have gotten him, and that would have been sweet. Time to embrace the annoying nature of the sploosh, I suppose. That's a smart idea, using the Booyah Bomb to cover me. It kind of worked. I'll clean up back here. You guys go on ahead. Hmm, excuse me. Nice try there, uh, NZAP player. We still got it. 4% win. Hagglefish and Marlin Airport are now in open Splatfest battles. All right, then. I'll have to take a look at that. Although, I think for the rest of the stream, I'm going to turn on color lock mode. I don't want to hurt you guys' eyes. When we get into those battles on each stage, you'll see what I mean about the ink color being not good. You just won your second 10x battle? Let's go, Sage. You'll love to see it. That is true, Mr. Cheese. I've seen a lot of people use Aerospray in Splatfest. And yes, I'm in the square. What of it? I normally play in the plaza, but I thought it would be fun to go to the square this stream. New room coming up. No passwords, same pool code, same everything. I always type in this pool code in case there are any lurkers. Actually, wait. No, 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 no. Don't join this room. Don't join this room. I forgot I said I would do this. I'm turning on color lock. Let's do the Splatoon 1 color lock. There we go. Now it'll all just be orange and blue. Very faded, very nice. You love to see it. Now the room is open. In the meantime, let me see if I can find someone whom we can raid after the stream is over. There's JD. Okay, I've got a few people in mind whom we can raid. Most of them are on Team Bunnies, but I think it would be nice to pay him a visit anyway. Because of how extremely popular Team Bunnies is, that'll give any of you who aren't able to join me a chance to play with someone else. That's my thinking about it anyway. Dang, this bell sprout is tiny. If there's any background noise that you guys are hearing, I'm sorry, but someone's doing yard work across the street, and I can hear it from my bedroom window. Whoa! That is a really cool blue color. I guess we got that one considering our regular team color is really close to blue. And hey! Look at this! Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this the first time we've seen Marlin Airport at night? Or wait, no. Second time. 
First time was during the instrument splat fest. It's honestly cool to be back here at night. I appreciate the strategy there, JD, but alas. Oh, wait, no, that was Ash. But still, alas, it didn't work too well. We're just barely unable to get back to the cooler. That's a triple. That's a wipeout. Let's go. Keep it going, team. I actually really like this dark blue color. Hang on. This is awesome. Nice job on KO and the Squiffer. I'll get this over here. Very good. Just barely got him. This feels nice. Excuse you, Squiffer player. Who said you could do that? Get out of here. I went down swinging. I'm not complaining. I will happily take that. And I even got a present. A little bit of laser action. Great, now they gotta wipe out. I have a feeling they're gonna win. We've gotta get rid of that Junior and that Sploosh. I think they're the big problems here. Got rid of the Sploosh. Where's that Squiffer? And the Junior is off doing who knows what. Getting splatted, okay. I deserve that. Oh well. GG's. We got one more in this lobby. Blech. Sorry. Something got caught in my throat there. And wow, we got 33.3% of the map exactly. That's amazing. Rare that we get funny numbers like that. Also, what's up, Scarlet? How are you doing? We're over here checking out the Splatoon 3 Spring Fest, and I have color lock turned on because the Spring Fest colors on these maps are kind of painful from what I've heard. So, I think it would just be best if I stick with this. Glad you're doing well. A little while ago, I was playing Pokemon Go while I was waiting for a battle to start, and I caught a shiny victory bell. It's part of the current Community Day event. I gotta see how good this victory bell is. Every single time, every single time I see the start of a Splatfest battle and I expect the, the little sparks that indicate a 100x battle. In the last Splatfest, the instrument one, Kuro and I got 200x battles on stream. We won the first one, but lost the second one, if memory serves. I was trying to get one of the Tri-Sloshers, but eh. 
I got someone, so I can't really complain. I don't think so, Scarlet. I usually close and open rooms really fast during my streams, so I don't really have time to look at the news announcements. But congrats on the 10x win either way. What team are you on? Maybe I should try playing the heavy edit next game. You also won 200x battles? Man, I'm jealous. I wish I had that much good luck with multiplier battles on my own time. On stream, it's anyone's guess. You're on Team Bunnies? Gotcha. You were probably in one of those news flashes and I just didn't see it. I apologize. But still, congrats either way. That's huge. Whoa, Nelly. Someone in our party is using the vanilla Clash Blaster. That's a weapon I haven't seen in ages. That is true, Tuesday. I said this already, but I was also looking for shiny victory bells, so my mind was a little... A little all over the place. I got it, though. I already got it, so I should be able to focus on Springfest a little more. No promises, though. I think they won this. You didn't even let me get any of my killer whale lasers off? That is so rude. Friggin' reflux player. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to give this shiny victory bell a different move. Okay, see you later, Trex. Good luck out there. And don't worry, KK, you will be allowed to rejoin soon. That was the second battle of this group anyway. Once I one-star the Neo Sploosh, which shouldn't take much longer, I'll switch back to something else. Probably the 96 Gal Deco. New room coming up. Here's the pool code. Wow, there's a whole bunch of Bell Sprout here now. And you just got a 10x? Scarlet, good luck! From me. Hey, I got another shiny bell sprout. That makes two. Not bad at all. This one's not very good, though. Let's keep it going. Already a third one. I told you, these odds are greatly increased. Ooh, this one's not bad. I may keep that one. 
I'll at least try to evolve it and see if I really want to keep that over the first victory bell that I got. There's the same tiny one from before. By the way, KK, if you're still looking to join, we got one more spot open. Are you the Splatterscope player? Just want to make sure. That's you? Alright. I don't want to butcher your username. Or your Splatoon 3 username, I should say. Sorry about that. Misspoke. There we go again. That makes two 10x battles. And just in time, too. Just finished the business that I wanted to get done with all these bell sprout. During the Umami Ruins Big Run stream, I only found two shiny Charmander. It's nice that I've broken my on stream record. Jeez, what is the enemy team comp? That would be nice to see, Bob. I have never gotten any 333x battles. I've heard of people getting two or three of them in a single splat vest, and I'm like, how? That is some killer luck right there. Thank you for covering me there, KK. You won your 10x! Let's go, Scarlet. I just did bleh. I just got one myself, and I'm trying to win it. Even though... My viewers may be on different teams. I will still celebrate whenever they win multiplier battles. And that Blob Deco player gives me an idea. Maybe I should play that instead of the 96 Gal Deco. I didn't mean that literally, Bob. But I get what you mean. Usually when I say a comment like, what is this team comp? I'm just saying that because I'm scared of how good they might be. Turns out we are slightly on top of them. Which I will happily take. In a situation like this, it's very important to... Apply pressure. Thanks for KOing the arrow spray, but I was about to get him with my laser. My super laser beam. Can't say the original version because that's not family friendly. There. That makes up for missing my killer whale from last time. launch that killer whale anywhere because the battle's about to end. Go, go, Gadget Fizzbangs! Look at that! Clean, baby! I'm not gonna take a picture of this because I already got a picture of my team in the bear cub color. But still, that was amazing. And did you get another one as well? 
Scarlet. Again, good luck. Guys. It happened. I didn't expect this to happen on stream. Wait for it. Can I get a nice in the chat? Oops. Accidentally hit my phone on my desk. I can't believe I hit the funny number live. On my player level. Whoop. Someone had to leave. Or did they DC? Whomever it was, you're more than welcome to rejoin. That was you, Mr. Cheese? Alright then. See previous statement. You lost your other 10x battle? Aw. At least you won the first one, though. That's good. No matter what happens this stream... I'm calling this a success. I got to play a lot of Splatfest battles with you guys. I found a shiny victory bell like I wanted to. And to top it all off, I even hit the funny player number. Jeez, I get those people are trying to do their job, but do they really have to be so noisy? I'm trying to Splatoon here. Oh, not just yet, Bob. I've still got about 20 minutes left of the stream, if my math is correct. Yeah, about 20 to 25 minutes. We're still going to be going for at least two more lobbies. I'm also factoring in the time it takes for people to join my rooms. That whole process and the battles that follow should take about 20 to 25 minutes. And then we can raid someone. In the future, I need to remember to look at my map whenever someone does the ouch signal. That'll help me figure out who's where on the map. I thought my... Uh, I thought my reef slider dodging from side order would have benefited me here, but I guess not. Oh well. Not to worry, though. We can catch up. We're getting close. Don't get too concentrated there, Tetra's player. Okay, duly noted. I'm cracked with the Neo Sploosh. I wonder how that appeared on their screen. Did I splat them with my main weapon or a fizz bang? I should try that sometime. Super jump camp someone with a fizz bang. That'd be funny. Hmm. Excuse me. Okay, good job, everybody. And good job to our Hydra friend that just randomly joined us. They were extremely helpful.
There's the one star. You love to see it. And I unfortunately broke the 69,000 clout. Oh well. Let's see. I do want to try the Blob Deco. I haven't played it in a while, though. Unfortunately, there, Scarlet, since I just won a 10x battle, that's what showed up on my screen. It prioritizes your own. Multiplier battle wins before people on your friends list. New room coming up. Pool code is also coming up in case anyone else hasn't joined yet. Oh no, JD, don't jinx it. Don't freaking jinx it. I already jinxed a 100x battle once when I was streaming with Kuro. The other one just happened on its own accord. I joke, of course. But still, that would not be fun. Like I said with my whole split brain thing going on right now. If a team has a lot of festival shells, then yeah, it is a good indicator for a multiplier battle. But that's beside the point. What if I don't want it? I really thought that sudden lag spike meant we were going to get a 3-3-3x battle. But whatever. I got my blob. Deco. And we're going to make this work. I hope. That was a blind shot, by the way, with that angle shooter. I did not expect that to hit him. I'll stay here so I can clean up a little bit. I mean that ironically, of course. Who said you could run away from me? Ah, that's the one thing I hate about the Kraken Royale. If at any point you stray too far into the enemy's territory and your Kraken runs out, you're pretty much a sitting turfling. Can't exactly use the term sitting duck in Splatoon. Invading our base. I should go back to the Neo Splash after this. This is not going to work. Oh, man. Oh, well. I thought that angle shooter Booyah Bomb combo would have gotten him for sure. Ooh, nice. Nice KO there, Ash. I saw that. 
Oh, don't worry, Bob. I'm trying to base invade them in return, but it's kind of tough because their roller is on a tear. Good grief. Feels nice to have something. Or, sorry. Let me not put the cart before the horse. Last thing about this Pokemon Go event before I end the stream. It feels nice to have something about that going right for a change on stream. And yeah, there was no way we were gonna win that. Their roller is too freaking good. Hmm. <sighs> You know what? I think this next match will be the last one. I'm starting to get a little winded mentally. So, I think it's best if I stop after this. Don't worry though. I'll sure I'll surely send you guys off to someone whom will be able to let you guys play with them. I'll be doing my shell out machine pulls as well before I end the stream. Is that true, Tuesday? I don't remember hearing about that. And don't worry, Bob, I've already picked someone whom I want to raid. I'm not going to say it until after the stream is over, though. I don't want to ruin the surprise. I will probably pick someone who's on Team Little Bunnies, since I picked someone on Team Bear Cubs last time. Did you happen to see if the roller player from the last game had Ninja Squid, Mr. Cheese? Because if they did, then that's probably what happened. Why is someone playing Bamboo? I'm not complaining, I'm just curious. Oh no, I did it again! Get me out of here! Thank you, game. Excuse you, GooTuber. Whoops, I bumped my mic. And you know what? I don't think I'll keep that other shiny victory bell. I'll just keep the first one I caught. It's already really good. There we go. Perfect. And I've still got a lot of Bell Sprout candies to power it up. Whoa! Hang on. That sploosh is lagging. Let's send them back to their base before they lag right in front of us. Get out of here and. Surprise, Octobrush! I get this is what you're supposed to do with chargers, but it's such a cheap strategy. You you guys want to talk about cheap. Every single charger player I go up against in my own Splatoon play sessions always does the exact same peek around a corner strategy, hold a charge, and then immediately splat me. I freaking hate that, dude. How did I miss those blobs? But the point still stands. If I face against a charger who does the same peek around a corner strategy, it's a brilliant strategy, but at the same time, I hate it.
Yeah. Yeah, that's a loss. There's no way we would have won that with how good that goo tuber and the Octo Brush are. I've learned my lesson from last stream. I'm just gonna end the stream here. Well, shell out machine first, then I'll end the stream. That's what I said I would do. I'm not ending the stream just yet, Bob, but if you gotta go, then I understand. This also taught me I need to be much more careful with how I aim with the blob. Alrighty. That's it for that lobby. Did any of my Switch friends win this one? Hey, Derpy won! But okay. It's time for that tradition you guys all know and potentially love. It's time for shell out machine pulls. And I've got 21 this time. Starting off strong with table turf cards, I'll happily take that. Better than starting off with food tickets. Learned Macho. I mean, okay. I guess that kind of makes sense. I'm starting to work out. And here come the onslaught of food tickets. Nope. Well-rounded hard worker. That's a, that's a pretty good title. That describes my video making quality, I think. And we got some new stickers, too. More food tickets, because apparently the game thinks you can never have too many. More stickers, and I think that other one was a duplicate. Yes! Run speed up, Chunks! I need those! And swim speed up. Stark White Trader? I have no idea what you're implying with that game. Ten more pulls. Ooh, another new banner. I like those ones that look like they're on concrete. And we got another takeout box. Drink ticket. Sub saver tickets after we just got a sub saver drink. Or, excuse me, chunks, not tickets. I don't think I've ever seen that banner. Imperfect Steel Eel. That's the first time I've gotten a Salmon Run title, if I'm not mistaken. Another food ticket, and one more for glory? No, two more for glory. One more for glory. Dagnabbit. De facto sushi. Whatever. Okay. That is certainly weird. Anyway. Don't go anywhere. It's time for the raid. Let me see. I thought I had someone whom I wanted to raid. Let me check my subscription feed. Dang! Their stream just ended. I was gonna raid Blue Cario. 
But oh well, that's fine. I do have someone else I can raid. I think. Let me check something real quick before I make my final decision. I want to see if anyone else is is streaming on Team Bear Cubs. Or, sorry, I misspoke. I meant to say, I wonder whom else is streaming Splatoon 3, period. Okay, we're gonna be raiding Alpha Star. I haven't raided Alpha Star in a while, and I think it would be nice to pay him a visit. He's currently playing Spring Fest for Team Bunnies. So, if you were unable to join me, maybe you'll be able to join him. Can I redirect? I should be able to. Yes, I can. The link to Alpha Star's stream will appear after I and mine. And when you get there, type hashtag tentacle raid, spelled like this, in the chat. But don't spam it. That's the rule. Now, my next stream should be this Monday. It'll be Monday night at 7 p.m. CDT, of course, because that's my time zone. But I have no earthly clue what I'm going to be streaming then. I'll just have to figure it out when I get to that time, I suppose. Or maybe I'll think about it tomorrow. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will not be making a shout-out machine video from that. But either way, until next time, this is Tentacles signing out. Take care, everybody.